Hey guys, it's uh, Mark here and uh, Jeremy, and uh, we finally got around to watching. Uh... Oh, on the tenth day, the Lord gave us to us Jason X. Gonna give it to you, X. Gonna deliver it to you. Knock, knock, open up the door. It's real oh, with a non top pop off, stain the steel. X gonna give it to you, X. Gonna give it to you. Yeah, we finally Jeremy's fucking watched here. it. Jeremy's here, and we, uh, we watch Jason X. Yeah! <laughs> okay, so yeah, we watched Jason X finally. Finally. This, this is, is the only one you'd seen prior, right? This is the only yeah, Jason the only... movie I'd ever seen before we started oh, this whole series. So awful. Oh man, this is the grand magnum, magnus opus. We waited only 10 movies to get here, and yeah. this is just everything perfected. <laughs> Basic storyline for this movie is sometime in the future from the... Because we were always in the future in this series. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, I think they, they say really, it's like 2010 like, or fuck something. It, let's just jump up another 400 yeah, they say like years. 2010. Um, Jason, Jason gets... isn't in hell, even though the like opening credits are kind of <coughs> hellish, as well as like for whatever reason they're like doing like biopsies oh, on yeah, Jason like, or something. The most amount of effort put into a opening yeah, title definitely, sequence definitely. ever. Like there's so much CG. That's probably why they couldn't afford cool looking guns, and so they had to paint over Nerf <laughs> or guns. Good costumes. Oh yeah, like, yeah. So it's just like okay, no, never. I said this is like watching an episode of Andromeda. That just so happens to have Jason in it. Yeah. And it's not just because Andromeda, it has two you... Andromeda actor, uh, actresses in it. It literally plays out, looks like, sounds like yeah, an Andromeda episode. Yeah. I was waiting for Kevin Sorbo to come in and be like, Ooh, take this Jason. Down. Hercules versus Jason. <laughs> this is basically a Jason movie in space if it was written by a 13-year-old. Uh, who Actually written by Todd Farmer. Who could possibly be mistaken for I mean, a 13-year-old. Yeah. And this guy, he wrote uh, My Bloody Valentine and then put himself in the movie as the guy who gets killed. In Drive uh, Angry. In, no, he's in, in My Bloody Valentine. He's killed at the truck stop. He's nude when he oh, dies. Oh, my bad, yeah. He bangs. Like he's banging the chick, and then they yeah. go on. He gets. Oh, that's such a terrible um, character. He's it's... in this one as well. Yeah, um, he gets his face smashed. He gets against his face the wall. smashed into a wall, which apparently broke the stunt guy's nose. No, it sucks. There's a lot of really cool deaths. There in are this. some really cool deaths, even in the past too. And there's some parts in this film We're that gonna, are. Talk about the past. We got to talk about David fucking Cronenberg is a yeah, cameo in this. He's movie. in this for. Um, reasons to get killed basically I guess yeah, they, he wanted to get killed by Jason oh, yeah. and like he the director uh, Jim Isaacs uh, they had favors yeah, yeah like... they, they did a bunch he did a bunch of creature effects for uh, Cronenberg back in the day and like a bunch of the cast is in Cronenberg films and a bunch of the crew is from Cronenberg movies but uh, that's the only probably bit of credibility you would think is attached to this movie, but it has so much more. It's, it's the best one in the series. Like there's some absolutely oh fantastic scenes in this movie. <laughs> uh, nipple twisting and yeah, teachers. Uh, like yeah, they uh, <laughs> you pass. Yeah, oh and then God. and then we go back to him trying to be like a Norman character yeah. from Aliens. Oh yeah, a shit ton of references yeah. and rip-offs. Uh, Todd others. Farmer, the writer, Todd, names oh. his character Dallas. Yeah. Like, Dallas Aliens, Alien. Alien. Um, a guy named the Waylander thing. that's probably a reference to Waylander. Like Bishop Solaris. Island. Yeah, there's a shit ton of references to other actually scary good alien horror films and this one is basically the script to dead space in rough draft actually there's a lot of a lot of yeah dead even space. has the same ca actor from, yeah, from spartacus um, the guy from spartacus who whenever he's, i see he's always the messenger from 300 the this is madness and he gets yeah awesome kick and this one he uh, just comes out of nowhere and yeah he's and he, he dies like three times like you think he's dead and then he <laughs> like, comes back and you think he's dead <laughs> he again and then he comes like, back he's, you think that's gonna take out this old crow <laughs> yep I'll about do it <laughs> but it doesn't kill him because no, he comes back and like and the black Jason. guys are the last people to die oh yeah Both that's of them. That's, oh, that's, yeah. look at that revolutionary good Whoa. for you Jason this movie's progressive Jason X <laughs> <laughs> most progressive movie in the whole series <laughs>
I don't know if it's the most aggressive. <laughs> Old Jason kills pretty much the entire spaceship. Yeah, like regular. Who like he looks kind of different. Like he looks very different in this, and it's like a lot more Kane hotter to this Jason. Oh, and is that obvious? Like, like there's that girl who moans, and Jason's just like mm, murder boner activated. Yeah, he basically gets brought back to life by people having sex. On like a spaceship. Pretty much oh, everyone on the spaceship like goes back. There's three space. There's three sex scenes like back like, to back. Yeah, like back. bam, bam, bam. Judging by how slutty those some of those girls in that ship seem, STDs. That's Jason's not the first STD to run rampant on that trip. No. Um, <laughs> Dude, not the Ford Invader. But one of the first kills in, like, Future, when they go, what they say, 2495, was actually on, like, Mythbusters. Yeah. Because they shoved this girl's face into a thing of uh, liquid nitrogen, and then he pulls it out, and she's Let's all see. frozen, and then smash! Yeah. Really and, cool death. Yeah, and he has a huge bunch of mo murder boners, like, murder sprees as yeah. old Jason. But then he gets killed by one of the actresses the, the, from Andromeda. The robot. Yeah, by one of the Nerf guns. And he then comes back as Uber Jason. And he actually technically only kills one real person and two holograms. And that's it. They blew their load too early yeah. on. I will and say there's not enough. There's not enough. Like Uber, Uber Jason. Jason looks fucking rad in this. Like He looks like a 13 looks year old cool. version of a hockey goalie in space. Yeah, it's so good. In space, no one can hear you do that slap shot. Yeah, there's a lot of in space no one can hear you jokes while we're watching this movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. This movie's terrible. Basically, it's literally, there's no plot line to this movie. No, not he really. He gets frozen, he gets woken up, and Jason kills a bunch of people on Breaker High in space, because that's yeah, all it pretty is. pretty much. It's a spaceship class yeah. with and only like nine students or something. And there's just... Some... And like a full battalion of military people. Which are... Seems like a real waste of well, uh, we, funds. And all, yeah, all they had for the their budget, too, was a weird kind of cool looking or trying to be cool chest Armor plate for the and then top blue and ski was, pants yeah, like blue pants below him. oh it's just so stupid but it's just so great honestly this is what when sean cunningham produces this movie and he's probably like never in my wildest dreams could i have expected jason to go into space this is probably what he's experiencing now what we're experiencing with the fast and the furious franchise <laughs> the, the fast and furious franchise needs to go into space yeah exactly so i this, mean i'd watch that movie i'd get that I would bring me back to that series imagine if they had like time travel like the vin diesel and matthew mcconaughey from interstellar would be in the same bookshelf <laughs> <laughs> he's stoned by the way <laughs> Yeah, Jason, this movie sucks, uh, but it does have um, one of my favorite moments in the Jason franchise. Uh, it's a throwback, and uh, like I love that like one of the pieces of trivia about the uh, Jason, they have like a video game simulator, like a la oh, what's yeah. the Danger Room in X-Men, or, or in Star Trek. Star Trek, or like every other sci-fi thing ever, because they're not creative. He goes into, it's like 80s, and they like literally punch in, like Camp Crystal Lake, New Jersey, 1980, oh, yeah. and it's so dumb, but like... The, these two girls are like they. I guess when they were really writing and reading the script, people sex. were like, "This is really just basic gratuitous nudity for no reason." And to counteract that, they just tried to make it as like silly, stupid as possible, and it's great. It so is. It was like, "You want to get drunk or smoke some pot, <laughs> or we could have premarital sex." And they take the we tops off. Like, we love premarital <laughs> sex, <laughs> and they just climb into their sleeping bag so Jason can beat them to death. Again, written by a 13-year-old. Yeah, it, I mean, and I, I love that kill. It's like a throwback to a Seven when he kills the chick in the sleeping oh. bag. Oh, yeah, for sure. And uh, It is the strangest amalgamation you've ever seen. <laughs> the lighting in this movie is incredibly bizarre with all this slate like, lighting. Yes, a uh, lot of everything. Designs. Every light had a fucking oh, vent piece A lot of, of the sets you think were printed from, I don't know, like... Uh, Windows, yeah, there's like weird backgrounds, yeah, and like, no. like oh, like I have weird no graphics idea what's going on. on. We want to see computer chips any as graphics effect. on the wall. Yeah, no, this movie is just, it's legendary. <laughs> Remember what I said when we were like, I think the first thirty minutes in, I was like, wow, this is fantastic. The f in more has happened in the first 30 minutes of this movie than the first five Friday the 13th movies combined. Well, there there is a lot. Like, the world building's all right. Like, oh, you get yeah, to see man. a lot of the school and what the people do. And, oh, that's just crazy. And, like, there's, Again, like, yeah, doctors. With, so like, much. They were expecting, like, Jason X.1 or like, Slash well, 2. Look, it looks like they're building this whole thing. Like, I, I, I it was gonna be a don't franchise. watch a sequel to this. It was really a franchise would. within a franchise. I'd probably watch a sequel. This yeah, movie. I would too. This movie sucks, but I this it's movie. again one of the ones I kind of like. Um, I've got a soft spot for it. It's uh, 
There's not much good in it. I, some of the kills are really cool. He's wrong. This is the best one in the entire franchise. Sure Even Freddy is. versus Jason doesn't come close. Oh, dude, just... So, for ratings, what are you going to give it? Uh, I, I mean, I'd still probably toss this one, like, a three. Oh, I see, like... you're wrong. Okay, so that's a similar number to me. I'm going to give this a 300, a 300 out of seven. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this for... Three with an infinity sign no, next to it. No, because because madness. Yeah, because this madness. is madness. This is madness. This is Jason X. Oh, this oh. is so fucking good. This is Jason, Jason X. X. Oh. It's so bad. So we finally reached. We're, we finished the best one. The last canon outside of Freddy vs. Jason oh, man. series. Imagine if so like, we try and come get, back from this. We man. just get the remake now. I want Jason Eleven. Padalagi. <laughs> Oh yeah, and then we will finally, finally watch Freddy vs. Freddy vs. Jason. Jason. So this journey that we started, well, almost like what did we just, what did we figure out? June year? June 2017 was the first uh, when we watched. Wow, Nightmare One. Fuck, this is taking a while. Yeah, it is. And well, it's a lot of fucking movies and a lot of yeah. shit movies that you have to like dig your mental like mental preparedness out. No, we should have just do. started with X. It might have been the best one. All right, guys. We'll see uh, you guys next time. Later. Highest rated fucking. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs>